YouTube, what's going on? It's Lodestar with you today, bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 The Eyes and Draken Zombies video. And today it's a tutorial for how to build the skull bow, or the purple bow, whatever you want to call it. Um, probably the hardest bow to build, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of running around, but for me, it's it, I think it's the best bow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the steps down for you, so you guys can see how to do it step by step, what to look for, and the specific order in what to do it. Because if you don't, it will glitch. But without further ado, we'll get into those steps, and I'll show you how to do it. Right guys, so the first step is to enter this tunnel, look up at the roof, you'll see a little purple logo, shoot it with the unupgraded bow, the Wrath of the Ancients bow, and it will drop you down your broken purple arrow. Quite simply, all you have to do, press and hold square on this, and then you'll pick it up, and it will have started the quest line for this for this bow, so the skull bow. Um, next, what you then have to do is you got, go to a room that I call the statue room. In this room now you'll see a purple box that is lit up on the floor. All you have to do is melee a zombie in, in that square and it will crack the tile. When, when you've cracked the tile, you see all this purple smoke and all you have to do is press and hold square on it. And then an urn will float up to the ground. Uh, up from the ground, sorry, into the sky, you'll get a bit of a cinematic and it'll say there are skulls scattered around the map. So you have to find six skulls. So the first one is down by Mule Kick, just behind the wall. Nice, quite easy to find, quite close to where you actually are. So we then move on to the next one, and the next one is in the main courtyard on the windowsill. This one again is nice, quite easy to find, quite close to where you are, by the trophy room. So then we move move on. Again, the now, now the next one is down in the Undercroft. You go down to the teleporter room, run into the teleporter room, and there's a sink on the right-hand side. Go to the sink. It is in there. Press and hold square on it. Glow purple once you've got it, and then you know you've done that skull as well. So on to the next one. The next one is just in Samantha's room. So run into the, uh, into the main castle. Go over to Samantha's room, and there'll be a little toy box. Uh, it's in the toy box again press and hold square glow purple you know you've got it there's also possibly another cinematic that it plays in here it says does this room mean anything to you um, the next one is down by where you started it's just down by the double tap on the wall nice easy one to find and then you've got that one leaving one to go so the last one um best, i personally find this one best at le best to leave till the end but it's just down by the rocket launch pad run, run around the side on the left hand side in the back of the truck is the last skull so once you've done this it is quite a lot of running around definitely worth leaving a zombie at the end um, have some people with you if you're doing it in a group like I was or solo it's not too bad but make sure you have one left brings us on to the next step and the next step you'll find now in the trophy room you've now got this purple circle what you have to do with the purple circle now is you have to get six crawlers to um, enter this circle and you can see the floating little skulls that you found will now like beat the zombies to death, take their um, take their soul. Not too sure what it's exactly doing, but anyway, it's it's collecting souls in this kind of way. So you don't have to do them all at once. Um, you can do them sort of as, as, as and when you get them. But this is the last one going now. When you've then done all six of them, you will then get a cinematic, and you have to listen to this. Right, so then once he's spoken, what you have to do is you have to write those names down. They're very, very important to have them in the correct order and write them down. Or look back on your uh, recording software if that's what you're using. But then you go back to the power room. There's then some statues with logos at their bases. What, what you'll notice is there'll be ones that, that will match the words or the names that he has given you. So for me, um, it was, I just remember, I had Stag, Crown and Griffin. Okay, so what we then do is you go to your appropriate statues. All you have to do is press and hold square on them. So in a moment, I'll just run up to the one that's got stag on it. Press and hold square. It will then show you a logo. Jot that down. It doesn't stay there for long. You don't have long to remember it. Um, once they're there, though, it's very important you keep them in that order. So my next one, so I had claw. Second one was ribbon. I'll move on to the third one. And then, like I say, jot it down. So you have to have those symbols in the correct order. But now, once you've got them, you'll find that you you start killing zombies, and the zombies will now start dropping these apothecan symbols. Um, there's no sort of order in which they drop. There's no particular area in the map that they drop more frequently or anything like that that I found. Um, and to start with, I thought it was just the bow that you could use, um, but it turns out you can use 
you know, knife, gun, bow, whatever. But I, I, I found sticking with the bow was um, easier for me anyway. But in, in these next couple of clips, I'll show, I'll show you what they look like. Um, they will drop six of them. You don't need all six. Um, I didn't get all six in this gameplay because I didn't need them. Says so the first one. I needed that one. That one was the tear shape, which was one of the names that I needed. So I've got that. Keep killing zombies, keep killing zombies, and you'll drop another one. So I, I personally did that one as well. Um, and then it drops another one, which is the mushroom or so, of that sort. I didn't need that one, so I had to keep killing the zombies until it dropped the ribbon. When you know you've got them, the ones that you need, or you've got all six of them, what you have to do is then you have to go back to the trophy room in just a minute, you know, the room that we've all started on. And with your bow, uh, you have to shoot the floor in the particular order of the name that you've got so for me like we say i had stag crown griffin which then translated into claw ribbon and tear so when you do it you can see your logos float in the middle and um it will enter and then when you've done it it will go a little bit crazy it'll play a little bit of a cinematic and the urn will start to do some crazy purple sort of explosions and go along like that um, but what's le literally you almost done now, so the last couple of steps in a minute, is the arrow will drop down that has been reforged. You'll just, just be able to see it in just a moment. Um, but it does go pretty pretty crazy in it. If you get it wrong in here, basically all the skulls will start floating around the room and try and kill you. Um, but if you get it right, all you have to do is pick up the arrow now and run down to the undercroft where you upgrade the rest of the bows. So pop your arrow into your um, into your altar for that particular bow and it's the same as all the other bows kill maybe 20 30 zombies um, I actually thought it was more for me here but just keep killing them keep killing them keep collecting the souls um, until it, it completes its uh, its ritual sort of thing it is quite a few it does get pretty crazy down here like I say I had I had two people playing with me and it was a little bit hectic but really luckily i got insta kill and a death machine so just tore it up and in just a moment you will be able to see the skull bow and like i say this bow is insane um very very glitchy um definitely waiting for a um a patch on this because there's so many little things like that that happen and um it seems to be on this quest line as well you get a lot of the glitching um but once it's done you'll see it will stop collecting the souls whip out your uh, your bow or another weapon obviously i couldn't do it with the death machine but it was fine and there we have it when i turn around in just a second kill those last few zombies i've now got or oh, sorry have to put your bow in first but then i have then got myself the purple bow and this thing is incredible i just let off a few shots like like you've seen at the start but it opens up like a void and these skulls start attacking things but if you guys have found this video helpful, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.